catastrophes. What is going on over here? Get out of here. Oh my gosh. 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 No. You're not allowed to be here. You guys, I don't know what just happened. Like one second, I was looking at my my like corral of plorts. The next second, it, it exploded. I think the boom plorts exploded. And then the next thing I know, oh my goodness. The next thing I know, all of my remaining like phosphor, phosphor slide, phosphor my phosphor um rock largos that i have had for so long just vanished it was the most surreal thing to see i can't believe that happened i now have a corral of of tars what am i gonna do with a corral of tars oh my gosh it, it actually blew up the corral of tars blew up i can't believe i can't believe this what do you what do you guys think you're doing oh my gosh you guys, you guys, those poor little ones, they were in here and they were good and they were, they were sweet little things for so long. Here little boom slime, you stay over there, I, I needed you to like make a phosphor thingy boomy thing anyway, but they were, they were with us for, since the very beginning and the next thing you know, like, I, I think my corral idea is horrifically bad. It was really fun, but I'm pretty sure that what happened is the boom plorts we had in here blew up. And while I was looking at it, the plorts scattered everywhere, shot in there, and they ate them, and then they turned into tars. That was, that was really alarming, you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to pick these up quick before somebody comes along and eats them. So that's really ironic because I was just getting ready to start and to tell you guys, hey, so I think that we're going to take down our corral. It's kind of discouraging since what happens is um, all the, the little ones just like the plorts disappear. And then I was going to tell you guys, so what we're going to do instead is we were going to focus on doing some achievements like selling you know, a whole bunch of plorts at the market or making a whole bunch of money all in one day or earning a lot of new bucks. Um, just getting some of the achievements out of the way while we enjoy them. And while I was getting ready to tell you guys that, because one of these things is completely full of fully upgraded silo and we could definitely get that with all of our plorts. But just as I was getting ready to tell you guys that, the plorts exploded. They just went everywhere. And that was, that was one of the most dramatic things to have happened and actually you know what would be kind of fun oh fudge to the knuckles look at them they're just going everywhere oh my gosh oh my gosh so one of the things that i think would be really fun is actually if there was maybe like weather effects or random um random effects like maybe a flock of hen hens I don't know, go through your go through your garden or something like that. But I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley lately, so that's probably where those ideas are coming from. All right, let's go ahead and just clean all of these up because clearly they're a danger to ourselves and to others, even though I wish it wasn't so. And we'll just, I mean, look, there's tabby plorts all the way out here. Oh my gosh. And we're just going to focus on trying to fill up one of the silos and be able to get that achievement because that would be really cool. And I'm pretty sure this silo is actually already fully upgraded. So we'll check in just a second. But oh my goodness, I didn't expect for, yeah, it's fully upgraded. I didn't expect, I mean, there's honey plorts everywhere now. I, I didn't want to cause any damage. I didn't, I didn't want that to happen. Oh gosh. All right, well, um, all right, come here, Tabby Plort. Yeah, that was that was a little bit alarming. We're just gonna focus on filling this up. I guess we'll fill it up with uh, puddle plorts just to give ourselves that extra challenge. So we'll go check on our little puddle plorts in a second, and maybe go find some new ones. And we need to get some more rock plorts. But what a what a sad sad end to all of our precious little phosphor uh, rock largos that have been with us for so so long. Just kaboom! That's all it took, you guys. Kaboom! One exploding boom port. I didn't even know they could explode like that. That's kind of a cool property, if I'm completely honest. All right, so let's keep going there. Wee! All right, we just got the achievement, a quick new buck. So at least we got an achievement. 
which is really cool. So there's a quick new buck, and we need to earn 100,000 new bucks, and that will give us the upper crust achievement. Um, and then there's just all sorts of other really interesting things, like finding the quarry in the glass desert, which I haven't done yet, because I just, I, uh, you guys give me directions, and somehow I just can't figure it out. And then completely fill an upgraded silo is kind of what we're working on right now. And then have maximally upgraded corral, coop, and silo on your ranch. So let's see, we've got a corral that is max upgraded or yeah well no we've got a coop that is max upgraded or uh, not a coop we've got a silo <laughs> i said everything but the thing i was trying to say so i think we just need to add a music box to this and that will give us the max corral and then i think if we come over here and add the vitamizer boom fully loaded just like that you guys all right and we have a straight or an extra rooster -roo. And some briar hens. I'm just going to gently collect these guys up. Because as you know, you're only supposed to have a certain number of these. Oh gosh, and here's a tabby plort over here. And another one over here. Oh my goodness. It's just trouble waiting to happen. Alright, let's gather up this rooster -roo. And I guess we can like put the rooster -roos and the hen hens into the into the uh, silo. Alright, come here you, you ones. Alright, and then let's see. Here, there's for you. So actually, briar hens are favorite food of boom boom slimes, and we are going to start putting boom plorts in here. So, oh, there he goes. So I'm just going to leave a bunch of briar hens kicking around in there. Because what I do want to add into here, we're actually going to feed this guy this thing. We're going to feed him one of the phosphor plorts. And we've been meaning to turn some of our, our boom slimes into phosphor booms. Because that sounded like it would be a really interesting thing. Oh gosh, what an exciting way to start our day though. Oh, look at him! Hi, buddy! He's actually really cute. I like him. I want to make sure he doesn't blow up on me, but I like him. Alright, we can gather up these rock plorts. And go ahead and put these rock plorts away. Oh, 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 please don't. Oh boy. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let's keep moving. But yeah, we can gather up these rock plorts and we can put the rock plorts um, into the silo, so that's a good thing. My gosh. And we'll gather up all these tabby plorts. Yeah, that was a little exciting. A little exciting today. And I guess we'll go look for some puddle slimes then. Because we do need the puddle slimes. There we go. And, I mean, now we have an empty corral. So we could use it because one of the other achievements is actually to grab... Let's see, where's some of them? Like feed pink slimes on your ranch 10 different types of food. So we could work on that and then we could go ahead and we could work on the, let's see, uh, obtain three gold plorts from a single gold slime. That would be kind of hard. Uh, oh, and we just have to hold on to a tar for 15 seconds. So we'll have to try that out sometime. And controlling the chaos, constrain more than 15 slimes in your vac stream at once while on the range. Ooh. We might be able to pull that off with our honey slimes or with our tabby slimes. And then six pack. Have at least six, six different types of slimes in the same corral. Wow, that sounds kind of dangerous. If we don't feed them anything, we should be able to pull that off. Risky business. Have at least three different types of largos in the same corral. We might be able to pull those off as long as we don't feed them anything that is questionable. Um, and then diversification. Have ten different types of largos on the ranch. So yeah, there's fun little achievements we can work on to keep ourselves busy. Because the slime rancher love is still going strong. And I, I want to respect that. Alright, let's go ahead and add all of these tabby plorts in here. Alright. And almost there. All right. I don't think. Yep. Nope. It rejected it. So we go up to 100 on the tabbies. We're getting the puddles is just being intentionally difficult to give ourselves a challenge. We could just fill those with honeys. And it would be just as, like, much, much easier. All right. We're going to fill this up with the remaining rocks. So the little rock plorts. What are the rock plorts used in again? Because all the plorts have different uses. And I can't remember what the rock plorts are actually used for. So, let's see, rock slime, plortonomics. Rock plorts are prized for being a key component in the production of blue metal, an amazing alloy that's stronger than titanium and larger and lighter than plastic. Because of its amazing strength, blue metal is often a key component in the hulls of light-capable starships, synthetic appendages, and protective holophone cases. Very nice. Fun fact, when I got my phone case, 
because I got the awesome fancy phone that I get pictures of um, a lot of wild animals for you guys with. All right, I guess we could take the stony hen to feed the tabbies. We'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, I got a a new Galaxy S6 a while ago because I needed a better camera in order to get footage of wildlife for you guys for the wildlife vlogs that we do, such as elephants. Um, you know, we've gotten we've gotten footage of the kestrels, the bald eagles, um, the water snakes, quite a few things that I can find in my own backyard, as well as the orangutans, the hippos. Um, oh gosh, like the giraffes, a ton of things that you find over in oh look at everything all right we've got you we've got your favorite food we've got your favorite food it's stony hens yay look at all the happy little ones except well, the stony hens aren't happy but that is once again the way life the way life is here um and then let's see i've already got enough and the honey plants don't really help me I need to plant this. But yeah, when I went in to get my phone case so that I could have my phone protected in order to make sure I took good care of it because I needed it so that I could share the wild world with you guys, I asked him. I walked right up to the guy and I looked him in the eye and I said, I need a phone case that will protect my phone from being trampled on by a herd of zebras. And he looked me right in the eye, adorable little honey slimes who are hungry and I need to feed. And he looked me right in the eye and went, I can help you. And so that's what he gave me. <laughs> it's called like the life case or something. I have no idea what it's called. Uh, but it was just really fun because I just, I, I told him how it was. I needed something that could be trampled on by zebras and he delivered. So there we have it. All right, we're going to gather these guys up. And can I get that fruit? Is there any fruit? Oh, yeah. Look at all this fruit down here. Fruit for the honey slimes. Fruit for the honey slimes. Fruit for our honey slime. Eight berry. I would love more ways to interact with my slimes. I would love more things to do. Those will all be coming in the future. All right, let's go ahead and grab these. Go ahead and grab these. That was a little flock of hen hens for sure. Fly, little hen hens, fly! Straight to the waiting mouths. I'm sorry. It's just the cycle of the, the little ecosystem on this planet. All right, come here, little one. All right, and there we go. All right, so let's see. I guess we're gonna set out. Oh, oh, I meant to toss the pogo fruit. Should be able to chuck it over from here. Yeah, look at us. Oh, <laughs> did you see him jump to try to eat it? That was so cute. That was really cute. But yeah, we should be able to hopefully go get um, go and get some more puddle slimes. Oh, and let's pick up all of the stray plorts that are just laying all over the ground because this is dangerous. Oh, I'm out of honey plort space. All right, so let's see. Yeah, filled up on tabby plorts. I need boom plorts. Filled up on rock plorts. Now I just need the puddle plorts. All right, so that's what we're working on right now. We've got to just sell these just so we have something to do and so we can work towards that other achievement. So there we go. So Plortonomics is really a fascinating subject to me because it just sounds so much fun. And I know that they're actually thinking about being able to mine meteors. Uh, I think Russia recently came up with what they consider to be a viable plan on breaking into the industry of meteor mining. So who knows how far away we really are from being able to have these awesome slimes on an alien planet and being able to just go farm on an alien planet. I wonder how quickly the excitement of that would wear off because you're stuck on an alien planet. Um, so I'm gonna have to, uh, that's food for thought, food for thought. All right, ouch. Or you're still farming, even if it is on an alien planet, you're still doing the hard, hard work of farming. All right, so it looks like we need to basically feed everybody in here. And how are my little, my little puddle babies? My little puddle babies are doing well. All right, gently, gently, gently. Okay, there we go. Everybody's here, all right. And I need this puddle port. Can I be a little puddle port? All right, and one, two. Okay, oh, I should probably add your water back in. There you go, guys. Nice splashies. Oh, I know. They're my little delicate orchids because if they leave this pond, they die. And so I, I spoil them rotten because they're so precious. All right, and then we need to feed our boom slimes. So we might try raiding. Oops, I am stuck on a pillar. There we go. I might try raiding um, the hen hen nest when we go out today because we are going to be heading out. Oh my gosh, there's more stray plorts. Man, that could really get you in big trouble if you just have stray plorts laying around everywhere. So let's finish gathering these up and selling them. Oh gosh, there's another stray plort. See what I mean? Trouble. This is just asking for trouble. All right, and then we're gonna go collect some boom plorts. We're gonna go collect um, 
some puddle slimes, and hopefully more puddle plorts. And there we go. And maybe some more of the little minty things, because the minty things appear to be very, very good for my, my wonderful little apiary of honey slimes that we have. All right, we'll toss these in here. There we go. All right, so we've been moving and grooving. Let's do this, guys. We are headed out. Oh my gosh, look how far that explosion sent everything. We have, oh my goodness, you can see honey plort over there. You can see a honey plort over here. Oh gosh, can we? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. La -dee -da -dee -da. Look at this. All right. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a tabby plort. There's a tabby plort all the way over here from that explosion. That is the most ridiculous thing. I just can't even believe that. I just can't even believe that. All right, so let's keep moving. All right, moving, moving and grooving, just walking across the top. This is actually kind of interesting. Just moving up here. It's kind of a nice, fast way to start zipping all over the place. All right, let's get up here. There we go. And then up again. Ooh, can we get onto that? I want to get onto that bridge. All right, hurry up. Recharge. Recharge the little thing. I want to I wanna climb the bridges. All right. Mm -hmm. Look at us. We're on top of the world up here. Wow. They look like tiny, tiny little ants from down there. Wow. What is that? <gasps> you guys! You guys! You guys! You guys! You guys! You guys! Why? That's the second time we've seen the golden slime and we've missed him! <gasps> oh, I'm gonna have to remember that. That was a great view and we could actually see everything and we saw the golden slime and then... I couldn't get down there in time because I wasn't carrying any food to feed him. Oh, we just saw him like the other day too. We're never gonna get him at this rate. Fooey, fooey pants. Ugh. All right, well, let's keep moving. We're gonna go over to the moss blanket and ignore all of these angry, angry faces being angry. Oh, well, leave me alone, you kinky pants. I'm gonna chuck you into the slime sea so you can go swim off and find somewhere else to be. And yeah, we'll go over to the moss blanket and we'll just see what we can gather up over there really quickly. Cause man, second, like what's that? that's the fourth time we've seen the golden slime now. And I still haven't quite been able to figure out how to get down to him. Are you trying to suck him into your vacuum? I know you can't keep him, but cause he, he'll just like disappear. But what are you supposed to do? Like, how are you supposed to take care? Oh, here we go. Lots of explosions going on down here. Oh, and there we go. All right. Yep, 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 yep. You, sir, can just get straight in there. <gasps> oh, he killed that little puddle! You rootsin! No, you get over here and you you get deep in this water. You get, get, get down there. Get down there. That's right. Oh, he killed that little puddle slime. That was a sad thing to see. That was a very sad thing to witness. Oh gosh, and now all the boom, like, boom slimes are busy eating. It's just gonna be a mass chaos over here soon. So, we're kind of looking for... Wow, look at all the slimes be born. Beautiful. We're kind of looking, um... I guess for, for briar hens, for the boom slimes. So, we'll collect up the briar hens where I can find them really quickly. I guess hen hens will work too. So, briar hens, hen hens... We can probably breed them a little faster, but just since we're already over here, might as well grab them. Oh, that's a tabby slime. All right, I feel like I reached down and grabbed its tail and it's actually a tabby slime and not the hen hen I thought it was. All right, there's a bunch, oh, 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 a little chick chick. Oh, oh, nope, we got a head pop. Oh, that was so cute, that was so cute. Oh, and look at all of the, the little honey slimes seem to be clustering around like that tabby slime. I love just watching the slimes. It would be really nice if you could just like create wild areas or encourage certain slimes in certain wild areas by like taking care of them. Oh, leave me alone little ones. There we go. And here's a bunch of honey slimes. And let's see, there's where a bunch of the fruit is growing but it's not ready yet. All right, hello little ones. Yep, gonna need you for all my boom slimes. Oh, come here briars. All right, thank you. Briar babies, briar hen hen. Uh, Briar Hen Hen. And then, yeah, I'm kind of over here for... Oh, look at you. Look at you with your little face. There you go. 
But yeah, I'm kind of over here more to try to collect up boom slime largos. Oh man, they're adorable. This is very relaxing. I love this area too. Kind of to collect up the boom slime largo, um, or boom slimes. So like this. Oh boy. And then kind of just to gather up any, um, any puddle slimes we might stumble on. All right, what are we doing over here? This is quite nice. Oh, what's, what's going on up here? Oh, can I get onto this area? I went up there. Oh no, I can't. All right, whoop. Okay, so let's look for some boom slime, or some puddle slimes. I say boom slimes because I'm like staring at him. And we've got some pogo fruits. Hello, little ones. All right, there we go. There we go, more boom plorts. And any puddle slimes? Not over here. Any puddle slimes? <gasps> puddle slime! Yay! All right. Come here, my little friend. I love puddle slimes. There's his puddle plort, but that's okay. Because I think it's going to be more useful. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> oh, dear little ones. Here, come here. Oh, good. I didn't want them to drown. I don't want to be cruel, even if we do have to regularly harvest up the hen hens. It really is just the cycle of life, you know? Alright, any other puddle plorts or puddle slimes? Nope. Just that one poor puddle slime who ended up getting eaten by that tar. Oh gosh. That was that was a little bit a little bit much if you ask me. Alright, let's see if there's anything. Boink. Ooh, there was a whole little a whole little slime hiding in there. I think he was just chomping away at the food that was hiding in there on his own. Well that was cute. Alright, so we're up one puddle slime and we've got some boom plorts. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and boink! Just like that, we can return home. Wonderful! And then we can go ahead. This guy has been eating away, it seems. So I'm gonna gather up some of these. Got lots of boom plorts. Thank you very much, little one. Oh gosh, he's still happily eating away. Alright, let's gather those up. Oh, I guess it wouldn't be able to gather up his boom plorts right now. Because the rock plorts would be in the way. Well, we'll fix that. We will fix that. And... Oh gosh, got a stray stony hen hen. Well, stray stony hen hen's gonna be a stray stony hen hen for a little bit. Here's our boom plorts. So, slowly but surely we're filling up on the boom plorts. Plenty of hen hens and briar hen hens that we can take in, put into our boom slime corrals. And yeah, as usual you guys, okay, let's just toss them in here from a safe distance. There you go guys, yep, there's the briar hen hens. And then I'm going to load up hen hens on this one because the other guy, well, these guys are actually going to be strict carnivores, aren't they? All right, let me try to gather up a couple more. Ouch. Okay, ah, I can't take it back out once I put it in. Oh my gosh. Jeez, they're a little happy. They're a little happy. These guys will have to get some more food for. I forgot they're going to be strict carnivores because they're boom tabbies. And those guys we can feed crunchy vegetables to. And this guy we can feed fruit to. Alright, and here's our newest little member of the family. Alright, come on everybody, come on. Very carefully now, very carefully now. I think... Oh, oh, Get back in, get back in! Oh my gosh! We chucked a puddle slime over our shoulder! It could have died! Oh, I'm so glad it's okay. Alright, one, two, my delicate little orchid blossoms. There you go. Alright, there you go, there you go. All right, there we go. All right, so there we go, you guys. I'm holding to our personal challenges. Just trying to, at this point, up. Oh, let's wait for it to go boom. Just trying to, at this point in the game, just enjoy what we're doing. Just enjoy our time here on the range, here on the ranch. And then as time goes on and things get updated, we'll be able to really enjoy exploring the world, discovering new slimes, expanding our farm, getting new jetpack upgrades. Come here, little guy. Okay, got that one. And doing all of the amazing things we'll be able to do here on the far, far away range. So, yeah. Patience, patience does it as we watch the game develop and unfold. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.